the flying ship. I can't get it to lift. We're stuck. Off. The ship is powered by magnets. They must be holding us down. Ashka's there! Maybe if I reverse the polarity of the ship's power stone. Sir, I, I was having a dream. And why are you sleeping in my class? Oh, I guess it was boring, sir. <laughs> Get out, Katsonos. Go on. Yes, Katrina. If I find the lesson boring, can I go too, sir? <laughs> I want you both to go to my office. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, the rest of you, get your heads down. Go on. Which way to play hill? That way. Three flying ships crashed when the power stone stopped working. The nearest one that can fly is docked. Call it back. Gali, return to the castle at once. They'll be after us soon. Return to the castle. Why don't you try and contact your friends? Alex or Katrina? This is Paul. Can you hear me? <laughs> oh, that was great. I thought Kenneth was going to explode. Come on, guys, answer me. Wait, it's Paul. He's all right. Uh, uh, Paul, we can hear you. It's Alex. Speak to me. Alex, mate. I never thought I'd be so happy to hear your voice. Uh, Katrina's here too. How are you, Paul? Great. Listen, you're never going to believe what's happened to me. You went through an energy doorway. Right. And You're I in need... a parallel world? Yes, and I... You need our help to get home. Yes. We're with you all the way, buddy. Just tell us what you need. Over. Oscar, what is this? The boy is communicating with his world. I've just escaped. 
from a castle in a flying ship with my friend Rihanna. We have to be careful what we say. These walls have ears. Big ones. Someone's listening in. We'll have to speak in code. We copy Big Eagle, use a scrambler. Do you copy? What is scrambler? It may be some kind of weapon. That's a big 10-4. Do you remember the cave at the school camp? We're on our way there now. Imperative, you rendezvous there with the conductive cable. Of the flying fox type. You got it in one, Einstein. What are we saying? They may be planning to invade us. The boy must be stopped. Comprendes, amigo. On our way. ETA, ASAP. Spellbinder, it's not saving time. Out of my way! Regents. I know you can hear all this, and it must sound pretty strange, but I'm not the one you have to be afraid of. Listen to this. I didn't think the regents were in on your plans. Regents are fools. They have let the people lose respect for the spellbinders. That's Ashka. Well, you have no choice in this. Ashka, do you hear it? It's Paul's camera. Tell me how to make them. The regents will hear. Gone. We're going down. Brace yourself against the wall and put your head between your legs. Why? That's what the air hostess tells you to do. What's an air hostess? Rihanna, just do it! Copy. Paul, are you all right? I told you two to go to my office. Oh, sorry, Mr. Kennett. Uh, we got lost. I'll take that. Uh, but, uh, Quiet. I'm very disappointed in you, Katrina. Now, I want you both to go to the principal's office. I'll be there when the class is over. Yes, sir. Oh, look, Paul's relying on us to get to the cave. We'll go to my place and we'll get Nick to take us. But what about Mr. Kennett? What about our parents? Oh, well, there's no sweat. Look, when we get Paul back, they're not going to worry about this. We'll be heroes. Come on! Paul! Are you all right? I think so. I'm glad I listened to that air hostess. Come on, they'll be looking for us. I can't move my leg. The report said the flying ship was heading this way. Then when it crashed, it should have come down somewhere around here. They fixed the power stone. I can't lift it. <laughs> Try using that as a lever. Can I help? I'm the spellbinder Jack, and this is my servant Jill. A marauder spell caused that flying ship to fall from the sky, and I'm trapped under this thing. I'm sorry, spellbinder. I can't move it. Sorry, Spellbinder. You clumsy girl! Now I can't call for help!
Well done, Paul. He's traveling with a girl called Rihanna. They must be found and caught. No! Paul! <laughs> Paul! How would you like to be turned into sausages? your leg? I can stand, but I don't think I'll be able to walk very far. Where is the nearest healer? I'll just turn back at us. We need directions. And your ox? You should have tried harder. That was a good job. Maybe we can talk Paul's dad into taking us. He won't listen. We've got to try. Move, you stupid animal. Move. We're never going to get there. I'll miss Alex and Katrina. I'm doing my best. Move. I wish we had one of those cars from your world. Uh, just think, by this time tomorrow, I could be eating pizza, drinking a hot chocolate, and watching Starburners. That's a TV show. Like the news? No, the news is real. It shows all the bad things that happened that day. Like wars and famines and murders. I don't think I'd like it in your world. Well, at least we don't have spellbinders. Hey! What are you doing with gum soaks? I'm the spellbinder Jack. He's hurt his leg. He needs a healer. Of course, Spellbinder. May we carry you? Yes. I could get to like this. A farmer reported a flying ship falling from the sky. He says he hugged a young spellbinder from the wreck. The flying ship has arrived. Quiet. Where is the spellbinder now? He was given directions to a timber cutter's camp. The boy is an imposter. He must be caught and held until I arrive. This is the best turkey I've ever eaten. Thank you, Spellbinder. Try some more bread. And some wine. Oh, no, thank you. But I would like some fruit. Fruits? Of course. Thanks. Thank you for your assistance, Timbercutters. It will not be forgotten. We were wondering. Yes? The Spellbinders, in their wisdom, have ordered us to cut trees for the new bridge. And now we have no time to cut the firewood we trade for food. But there's no shortage of food here. That's our winter supply. Not that we mind going short. It's an honor to have a spellbinder in our house. Well, then you need not cut any more wood for the spellbinders. I, Jack, have decreed it. Hey. Thank you, spellbinder. My son has not yet been named. Will you give him yours? Of course. You may name him Paul. I mean Jack. Will you do it with the proper words? The spellbinder Jack is weary from his journey. Uh, perhaps the ceremony can take place tomorrow. Of course. We have prepared a bet. I'm fine, thanks. My leg's much better. Servants sleep outside.
but the boy acts like a spellbinder. He's not. Spellbinder Ashka is on her way. The boy must be held until she gets here. I'll get the others. Paul, uh, they know who you are. We've got to get out of here. Come on. Trapped. Don't try and escape or we'll set fire to the hut. Hurry up! This bastard save me. Then leave it. I can't. It's Koreans. I just like the way people treat you when you're wearing it. Hey. Hey, what's bugging you? I'm hungry. Then you should have said something. There was plenty of food. You should have noticed. I was trying to act like a spellbinder. You forgot all about me. At least Corey would have made sure I was fed. He's on the run from these people called the Spellbinders. In a parallel world. I've already told you that is impossible. No, it's true, Mr. Reynolds. We just spoke to him on the radio. Where is it? Well, our teacher confiscated it. Oh, we promised Paul we'd help him get back. We have to get up to the cave as soon as possible. You have to drive us. Let's go, Dad. No, just a minute, sweetheart. Now, listen. Paul is not in the Twilight Zone. He's lost. And I'm doing everything I can to find him. And I don't need two teenagers with overactive imaginations making life any more difficult. But... If you want to help, put some of these up. Now, come inside, Christine. But what about Paul? Well, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but they made a mistake. This is hopeless. We'll never get up to the cave in time. Well, there's always the last resort of modern youth. What? Public transport. We'll catch a train. We have to get off this trail. There is a bridge just ahead. Once we across it, we're safe. It's far as all the way to Clay Hill.
Keep looking. Closer. Mum will have a fit if she sees you. I'll meet you at the station tomorrow at six. Yeah, well, what if Paul's already at the cave? I mean, he's expecting us to be there. Well, what choice do we have? We can't go now. Yeah, I guess. Where are we going to get a steel cable from? Uh, leave that to me. How are you going to get away from your parents? I'll think of something. See you tomorrow. Uh, Katrina. Sorry I didn't believe you sooner. Thanks. Your parents are going to be surprised to see us. We can't let them see us. If they don't know about us, the spellbinders won't hurt them. But that means you can't go home. Ever. What will you do? I don't know. Come on, let's just go to the summoning tower and send you home. We can't. I need a length of chain so I can short out the tower and open the doorway. In the barn, there's a chain that turns the grinding stone. Perhaps we can get that. Okay. Will this do? It's great. I'll have to break a link so I can get the chain off the wheel. Boy, I wish you guys had metal cutters. What about this? Brilliant. Come on, let's give it a try. Come out. Rihanna. I thought I'd never see you again. The someone said the spellbinders are chasing you. What happened to Paul? I'm okay, bro. Because of you, the spellbinders want to banish my daughter. What? What are you doing? Taking him to the summoner. No! If I hand him in, perhaps they'll show you mercy. No, Da! He hasn't done anything wrong. He saved my life, remember? And Yals. He deserves a chance to get home. You have to help him. Please? Alex and Katrina have put the cable up. I think it will. 